Hello guys, in this week's episode I'm going to show you some of the tripods that you can use for your YouTube videos. Let's check them out. You're going to get value from this video. I'm Dave from TVR Creators and I make weekly YouTube tips to help build your brand. If that sounds interesting to you, subscribe now. So you basically want the tripod, the best tripod for you. And you're thinking, come on Dave, I need to know. Now I would highly recommend if you're just getting started off on YouTube or perhaps you just want a simple tripod or maybe even a second tripod, I would highly recommend getting yourself a light, cheap one. Now you're probably thinking, why do I want a cheap one for? Well, they tend to be lighter for a start. So if you're on location or if you're out and about, they're very useful for that. They tend to be easy to set up. And I would highly recommend getting one that just sort of pops up and down at the top. So when you attach your phone or camera it's just easier I personally don't like the ones you sort of have to crank up because they just take ages they're a bit fiddly and you know it just I don't know they, they just they just don't seem very efficient and um, what I like about these like I said they're light they're cheap and you know you might think well you know is that sturdy enough for my camera I well I'll tell you what I've put many a cameras on them and they've been absolutely brilliant and I've taken mine into cities or mountains in random fields and I've had one for <laughs> I've had one for about 15 years and it is a great little tripod now obviously if you could just get started off or if you're a content creator that uses your phone I'd highly recommend getting yourself one of them with one of these a little phone uh, adapter these are brilliant um, or phone jack or phone adapter or whatever you want to call it <laughs> What you're about, Dave, um, and I think these are brilliant, brilliant tools because you can connect your phone to it, connect it to your tripod, and they usually cost about 15 20 quid, something like that. And it's just they will become your number one friend. Question of the day then what tripod do you use and why? And if you're getting value from this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Now, other tripods you can get are the little gorilla ones, they're like little miniature ones that just they sort of um. They grab hold of you know trees or bits of fence or whatever, and that's quite useful if you're out and about. You don't want a big clunky tripod; they're quite cool. You, you can get yourself mini tripods if you you know if you just want to stick on the table and stuff like that. And get mini tripods with like a little circle ring light on, and they're very efficient as well. Sort of up your game. I'd get yourself maybe two um, tripods, and um, one to put your camera on, and the other one where you can stick a microphone on. So external microphone that's connected to your phone or your camera, and you can get that you know outer shot. So it's just sort of here, say just under the camera shot, you'll get higher quality sound, and that will improve your videos loads. Now the tripod I use um, costs a bit more, and this is for those of you that want something a bit more heavy duty, or for whatever reason you just want a more professional looking tripod, or you just perhaps just think, you know what, I, I like them, but I just want something a bit better. Then I highly recommend one of these sort of pro looking ones, which I think are absolutely brilliant. And this is what I'm using now to sit my camera on at the moment. And I love this tripod. And which one you can get for you, I would just look around on your at your local store or, or online and just see what sort of gets the best with best reviews but I'd highly recommend you know something like that that's a bit stronger and what I like about this one the one I'm using now um, is a brilliant tripod and what I particularly like about this one is it pulls out from the top and turns into a selfie stick so if you're out and about and you're thinking right I don't want a static shot you can just pop up the top but you're not holding the camera so it's you know it stays more steady and as you're moving along talking out and about as you've probably seen in some of my previous videos um, and that's just a great tool to have and it just adds that extra layer of creativity and then you can pop it back in straight away becomes your static tripod again and off you go and if you've got a bigger camera or you know a bigger SLR that sort of thing you might feel a bit safer with a more heavy duty tripod but saying that you don't have to get one of them as I said before I highly recommend um, just a normal treat tripod to start off with. So I hope today's video was helpful and if you guys got value from it don't forget to like, subscribe, share with family and friends and don't forget to click on one of the end cards to watch more videos here at TVR Creators. You can check out our Twitter feed and check out any of the links in the description for you know our merch and find out what's going on and also feel free to comment in the comments below any questions you have about tripods or anything to do with filmmaking and I'll do my best to answer them. So I hope you enjoyed this video, have a great day, great weekend, whatever that is that you are doing <laughs> I can't talk today and you know what guys let's say it together you guys rock